In the Mahadeva Temple at Kokoda in southern Goa a remarkable discovery was made. The tranquility of this sacred site was shattered by the excitement of unearthing a treasure from the past, a 10th century AD inscription from the Kadamba period. Nestled in the heart of southern Goa, the Mahadeva Temple became the epicenter of this historical revelation. The inscription, a testament to a bygone era, held the attention of historians and archaeologists alike. Their initial reactions were a mix of awe and curiosity. Here etched in stone was a message from the past, untouched and waiting to share its tale. The script, a blend of Canada and Sanskrit, bore the hallmarks of the Kadamba period, a time of great cultural and political significance in Indian history. The discovery sent ripples through the academic world, stirring renewed interest in the Kadambas, their reign, and their contributions to the cultural tapestry of India. This discovery has sparked new interest in the Kadambas and their history. Written in both Kannada and Sanskrit, the Kadamba inscription tells a fascinating tale. The ancient lettering weaves a story of a time long past, a narrative of the 10th century AD from the Kadamba period. It begins with an auspicious phrase, Swasti Shri or Be It Well. The inscription tells us of one Talara Nivaya who was administering the Mandala, a political division of the period. His son, Gundaya, is the true protagonist of this tale. Gundaya, we learn, had made a solemn vow to fulfill his father's desire of capturing a Gopura, a monumental tower at the entrance of a temple in the port of Goa. The story takes a tragic turn as Gundaya, after fulfilling his father's wish, succumbs to the perils of battle. However, what sets this inscription apart is its unique perspective. It is composed as a vocal lamentation from the mouth of a grieving father, Talara Nevaya. It provides an intimate look into the emotional turmoil of a father who has lost his son in the pursuit of his own ambitions. This poignant perspective makes the Kadamba inscription a rare and emotionally charged historical record. Moreover, the inscription's literary style mirrors that of the Talangar inscription of Jayasimha Mast, another significant figure from the same period. This similarity suggests that such narratives, expressed in the voice of a character, could have been a popular literary style of the time, adding another layer of intrigue to our understanding of the period's cultural nuances. To sum it up, the Kadamba inscription is more than just a historical document. It's a window into the past, offering us a glimpse of the societal structures, personal ambitions, and emotional depths of the people of the time. It's a reminder that history is not just about dates and events, but also about the people who lived through those times, their hopes, their dreams, and their sorrows. This inscription not only tells a story of bravery and sacrifice, but also provides a unique insight into the literary style of the period. The Kadambas of Goa were a significant power in the 10th century, closely tied to the Chalukyas of Kalyani. Stepping back into the annals of history, we find the Kadambas of Goa, a formidable dynasty ruling with vigor and valor. Their reign unfolded during the 10th century, a time when their influence was substantial and their alliances strategic. One such alliance was with the Chalukyas of Kalyani, a relationship that helped shape the course of their rule. Their story begins with a Chalukyan emperor, Tailapad II. Recognizing the potential of the Kadambas, Tailapa appointed Kadamba Shastadeva as the Mahamandaleshwar, or the High Commander of Goa. This appointment came as a reward for Shastadeva's help in overthrowing the Rashtrakutas, a pivotal moment in the history of the region. Now, Shastadeva wasn't just a man of words, he was a man of action. His reign was marked by significant conquests that expanded the Kadamba's territory and influence. In 960 AD, he led a victorious campaign against the Shilaharas, capturing the city of Chandavara. This conquest further fortified the Kadamba's position and laid the groundwork for their future endeavors. But Shastadeva's ambitions didn't stop at Chandavara. He set his sights on the port of Gopakapatana, a strategic location that promised wealth and prominence. After a fierce battle, Shastadeva emerged triumphant, adding the port to the growing list of Kadamba territories. Today, Gopakapatana is known as Goa, a testament to the lasting legacy of the Kadambas. In their time, the Kadambas of Goa were more than just rulers, they were visionaries who saw the potential of their land and people, and who sought to build a prosperous and influential realm. Their conquests, 
alliances and governance left a lasting mark on the region, shaping its culture, traditions and identity. The Kadambas left a significant impact on the region, their influence still visible today. The Kadamba inscription is more than just a historical artifact. It's a key that unlocks the door to a bygone era, offering us a glimpse into the lives, beliefs and aspirations of the Kadambas of Goa. The inscription, written in both Kannada and Sanskrit, reveals their literary prowess and the cultural amalgamation of the time. Moreover, it sheds light on the socio-political dynamics of the 10th century AD. It tells us the tale of a son's sacrifice for his father's wish, hinting at the values held dear in that society. It also echoes the power struggles and territorial conquests that were characteristic of that period. Furthermore, the inscription, composed as a vocal lament of a father, adds a deeply personal and emotive dimension to the narrative, making it unique among historical records. In essence, this inscription is not just an artifact, but a narrative, a story. It's a window into a time long past, bringing the voices of the Kadambas back to life. The Kadamba inscription is a remarkable piece of history. A relic from the 10th century AD, discovered in the Mahadeva temple at Kakoda in southern Goa, it tells a tale of bravery and sacrifice. Written in Kannada and Sanskrit, it recounts the story of Gundaya, who fulfilled his father Talaranivaya's wish by capturing a Gopura of the port of Goa, only to tragically lose his life in the process. This compelling narrative is captured in the voice of the grieving father himself, a poignant testament to a son's devotion. The Kadambas, under whom this event unfolded, were a significant dynasty in Goa, having been appointed by the Chalukyan Emperor Tailapa II for their aid in overthrowing the Rashtrakutas. This inscription not only sheds light on the Kadambas' reign, but also adds a new chapter to the vast chronicles of Indian history. As we delve deeper into this inscription, we continue to unravel the complex tapestry of India's rich history.